Joey has a jar full of 40 coins, consisting of only quarters and nickels. If the total value is $5, how many of each coin does Joey have? Let's begin by identifying variables. Here we let X represent the number of nickels, and we let Y represent the number of quarters. And since we use two variables, we'll have to find two equations to form a system. Now the fact that Joey has 40 coins tells us one equation. The number of nickels plus the number of quarters has to add up to 40. Now the second equation comes from the value. The total value is $5. The value for each nickel is um, 5 cents or 0.05. So 0.05 times x is the value in nickels plus 0.25y is the value in quarters, and that has to add up to a total of $5. Okay, so this is our setup, and we can solve it any way we choose. In this case, I'll choose the elimination method. Let's multiply the first equation. We'll multiply both sides of the first equation by negative 0.05. Doing this, we'll be able to then eliminate the variable x. That'll leave us with an equivalent system, negative 0.05x minus 0.05y equals negative 0.05 times 40 is negative 2. Now adding these two equations together, we're left with 0.20y equals 3. And then dividing by 0.2, y then equals 15. And so we can see then that we have 15 quarters. Now all that's left to do is back substitute to determine the number of nickels. And using x plus y equals 40 coins, we can say x plus 15 quarters equals 40, or x equals 25. That is 25 nickels. 